As golfers, we know the importance of grooves on golf clubs. In the past, I have covered the grooves up with some tape. I've also tested a wedge with no grooves at all. But what happens when you sharpen your grooves? I found the meanest looking sharpener online and I've got a couple of old golf clubs. We're gonna sharpen the grooves up and see exactly what happens. Hi guys, I'm Rick Shields, PJ Golf Professional. If you enjoy this video, make sure you smash the like and also tell a friend, share the video around. Now, if you're a long time viewer to the channel, you might recognize these irons. I've got my old seven iron from Ben Hogan set that I used and an old SM6 Vokey wedge. I went online to find the meanest looking sharpener I could find and it's arrived today. We're gonna open it and I'm gonna sharpen up the grooves. But before I did that, I wanted to see how these clubs performed on GC Quad, seeing that I've not used them for a long time. I want to see ideally distance and spin number, but spin number is the one that I'm focusing on mainly. I hit some shots with the seven iron. Still feels as good as ever. It's carrying the ball 172 yards and the ball on average was spinning at 6,200, which is pretty damn good still for an iron that's been used in the bag for a while. Be interesting to see what happens with some sharper grooves. And I hit my SM6, 56 degrees, I'm carrying it 105 yards, and I'm spinning it on average at 11,000 RPM. I'm gonna go to town with the sharpener. We're gonna sharpen up the grooves, see if it has any influence on the spin numbers, and if it has any influence on the, even the distance. Let's open the packet and see what this tool looks like. So here we have it. You might guess where I got it from. Let's, uh, let's open it up. This was the meanest looking one I could find online. Look at that. In his own little cylinder. Look at the edges on that. So safety precautions are needed. Do not try this at home. I am a professional. Okay, so I've done a little bit of prep work, put a little bit of tape on the toe and the heel so don't scratch it. I'm gonna put a little tiny squirt of, whoa, lubricant on, oh, that was a lot. And I'm gonna go to town. Okay, that is ridiculous. I've absolutely gone to town on that wedge. It's hard to see on the black finish, but I could definitely see kind of almost shards of metal coming out. It's remarkably cleaner. I feel like those, those grooves are definitely sharper compared to before. It'll be so interesting to see how that compares, but I did not hold back there. Right, onto the seven iron, the Ben Hogan seven iron. I'm looking forward to see if that spins anymore. Took me maybe about 10 minutes and I just uh, went at it. Let's get on the seven iron next. Okay, last. <sighs> Go with it. <laughs> I need a rest. So that, that for me has now got to deem this club and the sand wedge illegal because I, I went in there. I think if you went lightly, you could probably get away with it, but it's not really a, a groove cleaner. It's supposed to be groove sharpeners. So now both clubs are primed, sharpened as hard as I can sharpen them. Let's get them back on GC Quad to see if it makes much difference. I'm excited. I'm excited to see if there's much spin I'm gonna get from these new sharpened grooves. So can this little gadget make any difference? Are my grooves now sharper, which could influence more spin? We'll find out, I'm excited to see. I've just used a brand new golf ball because one thing I'm also interested in, see if it actually rips the cover of the golf ball anymore because I say visually, they definitely look sharp. It's whether actually they are when I hit the shot. So with the seven iron, I was getting about 6,200 spin. Let's see what it looks like now with the new sharpened seven iron. That was ripped. Signs look promising for the groove sharpener. I was somewhat skeptical, but those two shots, there's definitely some difference. Let's go one more. So I would say there were very familiar shots to the th first three that hit with the grooves not sharpened. We'll have a look at what the results look like in a second. Let's hit the sand wedge and then we'll have a look at some numbers. 
Okay, new sharpened sand wedge time. It's hard to tell on the black finish how much it was going in, but I definitely saw shards of metal coming out of those grooves and they're a lot cleaner, right? Let's uh, hit a few shots. 11,000 was the spin on the 56. Okay, that was, uh, that was definitely spinnier. Mm, hit a couple more. Promising signs, certainly on the spin numbers. I'll tell you what, that has really surprised me. I'll look at some numbers, see the ball? Oh yeah, there's a bit more damage than what I'd normally see on the golf ball there. There is definitely a bit more of a cutting up. That's only six shots. That was a brand new Pro V1X. <sighs> Maybe sharper grooves, but you're going to go through more golf balls. Let's pull the numbers up and see if there's much difference in the spin at all. So was there much of a difference compared to the unsharpened grooves to now the sharpened grooves? The first thing I want to look at was the distance. And there was no difference distance at all. I wouldn't imagine there would be. So the seven iron and the sand wedge, there was no difference there. Then I looked into spin rate. Is the spin gonna increase with sharpened grooves? And from my testing, I found there was an increase of spin with the seven iron and the sand wedge with sharpened grooves by about 600 RPM, which is a difference. How much that equates to out on the golf course is hard to tell. My only concern now, I feel like I went into these grooves so much, I can't imagine these clubs now being legal. I really did go into those. There were shards of metal coming out and that can't be good at all. I think you've got to be careful of any kind of, I don't know, gimmicky or gadget things like this. Obviously, restoring old clubs is key, but go and seek professional help. Go and make sure you even send them back to the manufacturer, see if they can do them in-house, because then you know the clubs are legal. Doing anything like this yourself, always runs the risk of pushing that barrier too far and deeming now these clubs illegal. Did we see a difference in spin with the sharpener? Yes. Is it enough of a difference to possibly jeopardize your golf clubs and make them non-conforming for competitive use? I would say no. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash that like button, share the video around to your friends. We'll see you next time. That was the sharpened grooves. Oh, my poor seven iron. I used to love this club. Can't use it in competition anymore. We'll see you next time.